The next thing to have happened during this time is that we had a restructure within Carlin from what used to be a clinical directorate model, which had four very large clinical directorates, into a program structure. And uh, I eventually became a medical lead uh, of one of the medical leads in the surgical program, and that occurred in 2021. And the reason I took this on is because I'd been the head of unit for quite a number of years, and I was a bit, and I felt as though I'd, I'd pretty much achieved what I was going to achieve doing that role, and I was worried I was going to stagnate a bit. And I remember Mr. Supermanium here trying to encourage me to apply for one of the roles in 2019, and I wasn't quite ready at that time, but 2021, I thought, well, maybe it's time to do that. As that was coming about, um, when the new program structure was um, being consulted on and so on, um, I actually got to meet with Leslie Dwyer, who was our CEO, who was instigating all of this. And I remember something that she said to me, it really stuck out in my head. And she said something, that, and I might be paraphrasing a little bit here, but she said to me that people like to call themselves directors of something, even though they haven't really had the training to do the job. You know, and it's something that we often did as doctors, you know, we like to call ourselves the director of the emergency department or the director of this, but, but there's not a lot of, um, uh, we don't do a lot of training to be able to, to do that. So that kind of inspired me to that actually need to learn some tools to be able to um, lead effectively. Um, so I did uh, a medical administration course in 2019 and I subsequently started studying a Masters of Health Administration which is uh, an online course through the uh, Monash University. 